am walking around a hotel, which is a hotel that my husband and I are going to be staying in. We just took a little road trip and I threw on one of my sewing makes, which is a jumpsuit that I made a while ago. Now when I first made this jumpsuit, I made it with long sleeves, but I found that every time I was wearing it, I was rolling up the sleeves and so I figured I might as well just cut the sleeves off and that's what I did. So when I put it on today, I decided to roll the hem up at the bottom and then I also rolled up the hem on the sleeves and then a couple weeks ago I made a simplicity hat pattern and I made it out of the same fabric that the jumpsuit is made out of and so I've been wearing the hat with the jumpsuit that's what I had on all day today so it took us several hours to get to where we are we are actually going to Sequoia National Park I think that's what it's called we've never been but we're excited to see it and to check that out but that's gonna be tomorrow we're actually on our way right now to go get a backpack so we weren't as prepared as we should have been so we're going to pick up a backpack and maybe get some water and a couple other things to take with us on whew, I'm out of breath on this trip tomorrow to get to the National Park before I came here I started working on my next sewing make before I got started, I went to look for some fabric, so I went to Joanne Fabrics. 20. Hello, baby. Okay. How are you doing today? I'm good. How about you? Good. Good. May I have three and three eighths, please? Three eighths. Did you make your jumper? I did. You are so good. Aw, thanks. Aww, I love seeing your style with you. Thank you. Or like the bed in the cribs. It's going to be down on aisle F42, but that's about it. So the jumpsuit that I'm wearing is Berta 6318. I made this about a year ago and I never really wore it. This is my first time wearing it since then and I really like it. It's super, super comfortable. So I just wanted to mention that just in case you were wondering. And I did find some fabric for my next sewing make which is going to be a Vogue skirt. I really like this fabric. I like the color for winter and it's nice and thick but it's not wool. It feels like wool but it's actually 100% cotton and I did buy a little extra fabric because this is 45 inches wide. I wasn't sure how it would shrink and then when I was looking at the pattern layout there were a couple pieces that they wanted you to place it down and flip it over and cut it again and I don't like doing that if I don't have to so hopefully I have enough so that I can cut everything out once and get two pieces out of that. So yes I'm gonna go home wash this fabric and get started on my next sewing make. I also did buy a zipper an invisible zipper that will go I believe it's on the side if I remember right. So the pattern that I want to make came out in 2021. I'm in my sewing room and while the fabric is washing I can go ahead and show you this pattern. This is Vogue 1814 and my plan is to make view B. The only difference between the two is that view B is a little bit longer in this area here. So I like long skirts so that's why I chose to make that one. There are 12 pattern pieces and this is the cutout for 45 inch wide fabric. So this will be the cutout that I use. This pattern is rated as average. And as I mentioned, there is an invisible zipper. There is a left flounce and also a right flounce. And after looking at these directions, it doesn't look like it's gonna be too hard to put this together. So a lot of the pieces are really big so you need a really large table or like me to cut out on the floor and these pieces are all cut one. The back facing and the yoke are the only pieces where you need to cut out two. Piece number five is cut one on the fold 
in the diagram they have you cut it out individually so hopefully I have enough fabric that I can just fold this over and cut it on the fold instead of having to cut this out twice I had plenty of fabric left over so I will be able to cut this out on the fold and I'll be able to cut this once without having to flip it and then cut again. Okay so I finally finished cutting out all the pieces. The pieces are pretty big too. So I understand now why everything was cut out in one single layer because of how big these pieces are. So now I'm going to figure out what thread I want to use. I don't always buy thread when I'm picking up fabric because I have so much already. So I just try to go through and try to match it, but if I can't match the fabric, I'll find something close. And I know I have like a close color in here. Where is it? It's a beigey kind of color. Oh, here it is. So I think that this will be close enough. Sometimes I will even put a different color in the top of the machine and then put a close color in the bobbin. I won't be doing that this time though. I'm just gonna go ahead and wind the bobbin. Oh and by the way I keep my thread in this little plastic container. I've had it for a while but it's really nice and every thread spool that I have is actually in here. Some of them are stacked on top of one another but as long as I'm able to close it and keep everything in one place I'm happy and I can carry it if I need to so I like this thing so I'm gonna go ahead and thread the bobbin and then I'll be able to go ahead and get started on this skirt I just completed step number three which is putting the yokes to the front of the skirt and then you do the top stitching and this is how it's looking so far and I just decided to top stitch with the same thread that I'm using to sew up the skirt. There are darts in the back of the skirt so I finished sewing those and I was mistaken it is now time to sew in the zipper and the zipper does go in the back of the skirt. I thought it was on the side but no it's in the back. I have the invisible zipper sewn in and now I am going to put the back and the front of the skirt together and sew the side seams. So I sewed the waistband to the top of the skirt and then I did some top stitching all around the waistband and now it's time to work on the left flounce. I feel like this skirt is coming together nicely. I haven't had any problems. It is rated average and so I was wondering you know if it was going to be really really hard to do which might be why it took me a while to make this pattern. I had it for a long time and I would just keep looking at it like okay I'll make that one day I'll make that one day and I just finally decided to just go ahead and bite the bullet and now that I'm doing it it's really not very hard at all of course I'm not done yet but at least so far it hasn't been bad and I really like this fabric it's actually a little bit soft and I feel like it would be really nice with maybe like a sweater or something. And because the color is neutral, I know I can wear it with a lot of different things. I'm envisioning wearing it with some brown boots. I think that that would be really cute, hopefully. I'll try it on. Sometimes I have a vision in my head, then I try it on and it just does not look right. So I'm almost done pinning this flounce and then I'll be able to go ahead and sew this to the skirt. I just completed step number 26 which was attaching the lower front facing to the lower back facing and then you are to fold up a quarter inch on the unnotched edge and I just used some wash away tape because it's sticky and then I pressed it down so that it would stay and then you turn the skirt to where 
the wrong side of the I'm sorry the right side of the skirt is out and then you flip the wrong side of the facing on top of the skirt so really what you're doing is just making sure that the middle of the skirt is showing where the hole you know is on the inside and then the skirt is flipped out so that way you can attach the facing to the front with the right side of the facing facing the right side of the skirt so I'm going to go ahead and pin this on and then I made sure that the front facing was matching to the front of the skirt and then the back facing is going to match with the right side of the back of the skirt. I have the band all pinned on to the top of the skirt and now I'm going to stitch it around, trim the seam and then understitch. So I sewed the band on and I just wanted to share that it looks like it's on the wrong side so if you have this look it's actually right because when you flip everything over it will be on the right side so then you'll see that you're actually okay because I was kind of like whoa 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 hold on hold on did I do this wrong but once I flipped it over I realized that it was okay so I didn't want you to be alarmed if you plan to make this and you get that same reaction. I tried the skirt on before I left and it is actually just sweeping the floor on me. And I put it on with boots, with heels, and it was still too long. So I was going to just cut off the top of the flounce just so I can raise the hem up a little bit that way. But my husband was explaining to me that with the curve in the top of the flounce, that that may widen the area and then it may not fit in properly. So I was like, oh, okay, that's a good point. And then if I try to alter the hem, because it's kind of like a handkerchief kind of hem, it goes all kind of ways. I was thinking that I wouldn't be able to do it right, basically. So I don't want to mess up anything. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and just make up the skirt and once it's all said and done, I think I'm going to take it to a tailor and have them professionally, you know, raise the hem up. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you what the skirt looks like once I'm all done with it. I'll just put it on and share with you what it looks like. And then in a future video, after I get it altered professionally, I'll come back and show you how it turned out. Okay, so we did eventually find a backpack and we also got this water bottle. And the backpack that we picked is just a simple, plain black backpack. And we also bought a few little snacks to go in it. So I'm going to wear this McCall's dress. It's just a nice comfy t-shirt dress with a little ruffle on the side. And then I like to wear shorts under my dresses sometimes. So I'm just going to wear these McCall shorts under the dress. So I just got out of the shower. And yesterday I kept thinking about my dress. I only have a few more steps to complete. And then it will be all done. So can't wait to share that with you and can't wait to get it finished and dropped off with the tailor and hopefully they'll be able to get it right I feel like it shouldn't be too too hard to do so we'll see what the experts say did I forget my eyebrow pencil where is it oh no I think I did I don't see it oh here it is okay so I'm really excited about what we're going to see today. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to share everything with you. So I hope you will come along and follow me on my little journey today. The weather should be really nice so that's good. And we had to buy tickets and there is a little drive. I think we're 45 minutes away from the park. So we're going to go ahead and leave once I'm all ready and head on our way. So I have the dress tucked into the shirt to kind of make it look like a top. But it's got this little bulge right here. So I'm not really liking that. But otherwise, I think it's okay. So I may wear it like this. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. How are 
doing good. How about you? Good, thank you. Good. I love that you have potatoes. These are my favorite. <laughs> you want me to read yeah, this yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. After a little bit of breakfast, we hit the road headed to the park. Okay, so we are here. We just got the map. All right, let's check it out. Okay, this is the largest tree in the world. I could not believe how big this tree was. This is the trunk. As you can see, there is a fence around it, so I couldn't get all the way up to it. But this shows you just how big this tree is. And the name of it is General Sherman. This is a ginormous tree that looks like it has been uprooted or has fallen or something. But this is huge. Oh my goodness. This is so amazing to me. So now I'm gonna actually walk through this fallen tree. This is so cool. So we're trying to decide if we want to go 1.7 miles that way or if we want to go back that way. So we're gonna ask Siri. We're going to do heads or tails. So heads is going to be that way and tails is going to be that way. So let's see. Hey, Siri. Uh-huh. Heads or tails? It's heads. Thank you. All right. I am back at home, safe and sound. We had a really, really good round trip. And we also saw a bear before we left. Yes, we saw a bear in the wild. So that was interesting. I couldn't wait to get back to this skirt. So where I left off was working on the facing. Now I'm just trimming the seam and then I'm gonna take the facing and pin it to the skirt so that I can tack it down. And then if I'm not mistaken, I will be done. So, we did do something that was also very adventurous while we were at the park. And if you're interested in seeing what that was, I will insert some footage at the end of the video so you can check that out. Okay, so now we are climbing the side of a mountain and there are a lot of stairs to get to the top, but we are going to go up there and see what's there. Oh, I'm out of breath, but there's a little more to go. Made it to the top, finally. And this is what's up here. We are on the top of this rock and what's so crazy is when we were driving in I was like I wonder what it would be like to be on top of that rock and we had no idea that that was something you could actually do until we got here yesterday. That's the highway that we drove in on or the little road it's not really a highway but the little road that we took to get all the way up to the top. I can't believe we're up here. So cool. <laughs> Thank you. 